Today marks the launch of Somerville and Oriel Equalities Week and what's better way to kick it off than with an international fashion show? Tonight, members of the university from a range of ethnic backgrounds will model traditional dress from their native countries. Hi, I'm Toyo. Um, I'm the ethnic minorities officer at Somerville. Um, I'm a first year law student and I am the organiser of the International Fashion Show. So Toyo, what was the inspiration behind the show? Um, I just felt like um, in the context of a student community where, um, well, which isn't very sort of racially or culturally diverse, um, it's quite important to have some sort of platforms for people from different cultural identities to be able to express that. Um, and I also think um, that it's quite important for like the university sort of public image in terms of access and outreach schemes, like for people to be able to see some sort of like visual evidence that there are going to be outlets for them to express their cultural identity. Um, I think as to why maybe these issues aren't sort of discussed as much as they should be, I just think um, I think at Oxford, like I think it's thirteen percent of the undergraduate body is from a black or ethnic minority really? background. So it's quite a small number, and I think um, in that kind of environment, it can be sort of easy to just sort of forget about race and um, cultural diversity, and to sort of forget about the fact that even within the small minority that, um, of ethnic minorities, <laughs> there is um, sort of a wide sort of variety of different cultural backgrounds and cultural identities. A selection of cultural pieces were seen, from the Indian sari to the Korean hanbok to the Somalian Dirac dress. The music was in keeping with the cultural feel of the night, with many of the models choosing their own track to accompany their outfit. Introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Hannah and I'm representing Somalia. Okay, and talk us through your outfit. Okay, so we've got the Dirac here and it's a very colourful piece of clothing, quite see-through and loose because Somalia is obviously very hot. Um, so underneath the dirat we have the gogret, which is what you wear, it's like the underskirt. Wow! So, yeah. <laughs> but that in itself is really nice. Yeah, it's quite intricate as well. <laughs> um, you're meant to kind of normally wear it a bit higher, you can see the design. And then you tend to wear a shalmat on top. Um, which I don't have at the moment, um, but the shell mud goes on top to cover. Okay, and what about your headpiece? And my headpiece, I kind of just wrapped it myself <laughs> because um, being Muslim, I'm meant to wear the hijab, so oh, I did yeah. it as a turban style to go with that outfit. Nice, brilliant, oh, thank, thank you. you. Hi, my name's Pauline and I'm representing Vietnam. Okay, talk us through your outfit. Uh, so this is traditional ao yai, which means a uh, long dress. Uh, and it's from Hue, which is the imperial city. And then it's spread across the country. Uh, so now it's like the traditional uh, smart dress that girls would wear at weddings. Or my mom wore it at university, like throughout her time at university. It was the uniform. Um, oh, brilliant. So and yeah. is this, was this made in Vietnam itself? Uh, yes, I got it tailored in Vietnam from... Me. Oh, yeah. nice. Was it expensive? No, I think overall the price of the fabric and getting it tailored was twelve pounds. Twelve pounds. Gosh, yeah. <laughs> What has been a colourful, fun and fashionable evening has also been a fantastic way of promoting ethnic diversity. This is Naluka Kavanagh reporting for Chowell.